Hi friends! Oh my god, what a crazy few weeks, hey? <sighs> so, my mummy and dad, ITV season one is finished and I decided that I would do a cheeky little Q&A on here. Not sure if I'm allowed to do this, ITV, please don't sue me. I'm very severely in my overdraft, I can't pay you. So, let's just leave that there. I put on my Instagram different questions that everyone has been asking about the show and I just thought I'd come on here and give you some light about some certain things. Very juicy. Yeah, honestly. Do you want to start by saying that the love for the show has been so amazing and the support for my mum, support for all the parents, it's just been the best. Okay, let's go. Also, I put some foundation on and it's given me like a little bit of a moustache. Like, you know, when you put like really dry skin and the foundation like sticks to, you, sticks to your slight tash. So let's just ignore that. You probably wouldn't have even noticed until I'd said, but we're honest on this channel. <laughs> Weirdly, one of the main questions I got asked is, am I related to Tom Zanetti? In short, no, I'm not. Although, I mean, I don't actually know, maybe distantly, I'm not too sure. I mean, there's not very many Zanettis rolling around um, England. So maybe like super distantly. Obviously like it's, it's Italian and they came over and then like things happened and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no. It's not like, I'm not like buzzing to be related to Tom Zanetti or anything, but also maybe slightly. Maybe I should get, maybe I should look into that. Did anyone need to book time off work last minute to stay at the bunker? So a lot of the kids, obviously there was a lot who were in uni. So it was like summer holidays. So that was completely perfect. That worked out well. There was some who did have jobs. So like Carly is an air hostess. So she had to get time off work for that. And the same with Jess, Jess had to get time off for work. I should know what Jess does as a job. <laughs> oh my god, Jess, I'm so sorry. I don't know what you do as your job. Oh my god, what's that job? Yeah, it was also on before the show started, but a lot of people did have to take time off, yeah. Did you genuinely not know that you were gonna be on the show? I wish I could tell you how much I did not know I was gonna be on that TV screen. <sighs> When we got to, right, hold on, because it's actually so stressful. I think maybe I didn't know more than everyone else. I think a lot of the kids didn't know, but they thought that maybe they'd be on like one or two of the episodes. When we had our interviews for the show, I literally felt like a, a spare part. My mum was asked everything and I was just sat there in silence the whole time. They didn't really ask me a lot. So I was like, there's absolutely no chance I'm on this show because they would have asked me at least a question, but I was just sat there like this the whole time during all the interviews. I've later found out that's because obviously I had my YouTube, so they knew my personality because they watched my YouTube, so that's why they didn't really ask me any questions. Whereas they did ask the other kids, I think, a few more questions, so they were a bit more like, okay, they are quite interested, but I got a packing list, okay, from them, and on there it said you could bring a small, <laughs> it said you could bring a small instrument, a small instrument for <laughs> us. with me. My laptop, my editing equipment, my microphone, my ring light. I brought like 10 gym sets. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be in this hotel room waiting for my mom for two weeks. I'll get super fit and sexy. I'll be really well read add all these words to my vocabulary. I will learn the guitar. I download Duolingo. I was like, I'm gonna really work on myself in these two weeks. On the first day, I dropped my mom off at the retreat and we got took back to the hotel and I was like, oh, okay, cool, done. Earrings out, rings off, lay on the bed, knock on the door. Tia, let me come with me. I was like, where are we going? They're like, I can't tell you. So I was like, oh, don't I put my earrings in? They're like, yeah. I was in this car on my own and they started throwing towels over the windows. I couldn't see out. I was so wet and it was a gorgeous hot day. Like towels all over. So I thought I was in a, street, in a greenhouse. I was genuinely like, oh my God, like, this is so hot. I was asking the girls like, what's going on? She's like, I can't tell you. I was like, mint. I was in that car for about an hour and then suddenly, the girl was like, okay, you can get out. So I just got out. This man escorted me somewhere and he was like, I had like a little headset on, looked really official. And I was like, oh my God, like what's going on? He's like, okay, well you walk that way. You'll see a drain, turn right and go up the stairs. And I was like, to do what? And he's like, you'll see. And I was like, 
right so when i walked in when you see even when you saw my walk in i didn't know where i was walking to i didn't know i was going to be meeting the kids like obviously i kind of assumed by that time when they threw the bloody towels over me and the had them on the heads that i assumed i'd be going on camera but until that point i had no clue we did not know davina was going to turn up i actually didn't even realize that it was davina for the first few minutes because i was so taken aback that i was like look at her i was like oh my god shit that's davina <laughs> genuinely hand on heart a complete shock i didn't bring foundation because i didn't think i thought okay we're gonna be sat in this hotel room doing like social media for the show i'm just gonna like let my skin breathe just wear a bit of concealer like i didn't really bring much makeup with me had to order a foundation on like day seven luckily i was going home after the retreat for a few days so i had brought a few outfits for when i was going home like not for the show so like the dress i wore on the last night was actually for my friend's birthday which i was going to the week after when we got back from the retreat if i hadn't have brought that stuff i would have been absolutely screwed which parents are still together so i mean you probably would have seen this on instagram but, but i'll just tell you again anyways so roger and janie are still going strong sexy rog god i love rog so much i don't know the amount of times i said that he was really fit like around the sofa but they didn't put it in we were all a little bit obsessed but they didn't really show that side of the kids like i think they wanted to keep us like very kid like but um we were all really obsessed with rog my mom and elliot are still going strong and nat and paul unfortunately did break up and I'm really sad that they didn't make it work because I really romanticised in my head. Like, in my head, right, I was thinking, okay, great. Nat, Paul, Sharon, Elliot, Tia, Khalil, Zach, Maisie. We could have, like, summer holidays. We could go to the caravan on a Friday. We could do all these things together as, like, a little cute friends, family moment. I really wish they made it work, but that's very selfish of me to want them to make it work just so that we could all go on holiday together. But I'm sure we'll still go on holiday anyways. Will there be a reunion show? So, I bloody hope so. We have been asking so many times, like, it's going to be a reunion show, and they were like, mm, mm, like, probably, maybe, like, yeah. We're like, okay, great. So we're in, in there, like, oh, God, the reunion's going to be so fun. We left, and then they were like, yeah, probably not going to be a reunion show. And we were like, what the heck? That's so, that's so sad. And then, obviously, now the shows came out, and I think it's very apparent that everyone really would love a reunion show. So I'm hoping now that everyone's been really asking for a reunion show that they'll give us one. But I can't lie, I don't think they will. I think we all do see each other quite a lot anyways. So I guess it wouldn't really feel super reunion-y to us because we've seen each other like quite a lot since we got out the house but not all together so it would be good i know davina really wants one so if she gets our way that would be great i'm not gonna get too excited about it however all of us kids are going to glasgow in a few days so i'm gonna film like a kids reunion and post it on my youtube channel so if you want to watch the kids get back together then that'll be on here next week but yeah that's all i can give you for now <laughs> maybe i can organize an adult one too and film that but we'll have to see don't know if my budget stretches for that but did all of you guys live at the bunker full time we saw so little of that side so we actually didn't we were all in a hotel nearby we all had individual rooms which were lovely we had little coffee bags like after, you know, like, like not even like now you've got like tea bags and you've got coffee scoop they were bags of coffee that you would dunk in like a tea bag and oh my god they were so great but i feel like no one else really used to have the coffee so no one else would really appreciate the coffee bags but i really appreciate the coffee bags anywho we were literally never ever ever in the hotel we would get picked up from the hotel at like 7 8 a.m i think one day we got like a 10 <laughs> and we would get drove to the bunker in a little minibus and then we'd be at the bunker all day and then leave at about 11, 12. So we were literally basically living at the bunker, but we just slept at the hotel. So we would have our breakfast at the bunker, lunch, dinner, then go at the hotel and then come back the next day. I think it actually would have been a lot more fun if we had, but that might have opened a can of worms. So let's not even go there. <laughs> My outfits are really high, I just realized, I'm so sorry. What has the transition been like for your mum now you're in the real world? So obviously my mum had no social media. She had no phone for like the, two weeks that she was in the retreat but i do think it probably would be easier for parents to deal with that this could be wrong but i feel like parents aren't as like addicted to their phones as we are i don't think she was that bothered about not having her phone the good thing is is that this was all filmed in may came back home had three and a half months of like just not being able to tell anyone not speaking about it to anyone and then then the show came out so it was pretty easy i think for her to kind of transition back into normal life i think it was more it would have been harder i think if she'd done that and it had 
was live like it is on the island i think that would have been probably a bit harder because then you come out and it's like discussion whereas she had time to kind of think about it and digest like what went on and be prepared for things and all that kind of good stuff so i actually think it was pretty easy did you watch the parents live or was it edited together okay so we didn't watch it live but we got the parents really really early filmed that stuff in the morning and then we would obviously get to the bunker about seven eight but we wouldn't start filming until probably about nine we would then go into the bunker and watch what happened from like 6 a.m with the parents so we were always probably about an hour behind. We weren't allowed to have our lunch until we'd finished watching the parents and like they'd gone on their lunch, then we were finally allowed to. And then we couldn't go to bed until we watched the parents' clips from the night. So they would, they would try and send the parents to sleep as early as they could so that they could get the footage together cut out any boring bits that just nothing really happened. So, because otherwise we would be literally would be watching for 24 hours and we would have just, oh my God, like I love watching TV, but it gets a bit much at times. So they cut out anything that was a bit boring or like just, just general chat that didn't really matter. Edit that together quickly, really roughly, and then send it over to us. Then we sit and watch it. So they try and get the parents to go to sleep quite early so that they could like edit it all together, send it over, and then we could watch it at like about, 10 11 at night and then we weren't allowed to go to bed until we'd finished watching their night things so i remember my mom telling me obviously because they didn't know what we were watching she was like certain nights that they'd send us to bed really early we'd all she's like, we'd all kick off because we wanted to stay up and we'd end up staying up so much later because like we just refused to go to sleep and i was like right so that was the night i went to bed at 1am because you wouldn't go to sleep i said like, because we had to wait till you were finished so that we could watch the clips but obviously they didn't know and it was not what you saw you obviously saw the super super condensed version whereas so you may have seen the clip that was two minutes we probably would have seen that for like 20. for example the date with paul and monique that awkward date on the first episode that was so much worse when we watched the clips like how awkward that was and how long and, and like tense and quiet it was They'd edited that so it was shorter. It was so awkward. Were you all paid to go on? Also, did you have chefs to make you all your meals? So we weren't paid to go on, no. We got expenses, so obviously it was like two weeks of no work, so we kind of expensed living costs, but we weren't actually paid. Wish we were, because maybe then I wouldn't be in my overdraft, but no, we weren't paid. In both the bunker and in the retreat for the parents, there was like a kitchen so they had loads of different foods in there so we would make our own breakfast and lunch and then get in the catering for the evening meal what was the cringiest moment for you so i actually don't really feel like for my mom there was any cringy moments in all the little interviews before we went on the show they were like asking about different things that mom does and all like, oh, something that she does like what's that party trick i was like oh she's doing splits and they were like what and i was like yeah i was like when i was younger it used to really make me feel ill i'd go to a party I'd be dancing when I was a kid and look to my left and Sharon would be on the floor on the splits, right? And I was telling them these stories and thought it was hilarious. And they're like, what would you do if your mum did the splits now? I was like, oh my God, I'd absolutely cringe to death. And mum was like, don't know if I can actually get up from the splits. Like I'm probably, my back would probably go and I wouldn't be able to get up. We're all laughing about it, okay? And I was like, mum, please don't do the splits. I was like, if you're gonna do it, do it well. But if you can't get up from them, like maybe don't do that on national TV. We got on the show, you didn't see this because it got cut, but on the question scene, when Caroline was pulling the questions out of this little it's like a little pot or something. One of the questions that you didn't see was, what's your party trick? And my mom just stayed silent and didn't do the splits. And on reflection, I kind of wish she had. I think it would have been really funny. I'm sorry, Sharon. I'm sorry for scaring you about doing the splits, but I think it would actually been really good. Why did your mom always cry? <laughs> I've not seen her get that emotional in such a long time. We are super open with each other. I think a lot of people were quite shocked that I wasn't really getting very upset when my mum was crying. But what my mum disclosed on the show is probably like a tenth of what's actually gone on. So to me, it didn't bring up a lot of feelings because I know she was still being very guarded. So even though she was getting upset, like we, we talk about it a lot, we're very open, like yeah, I know everything about her, she knows everything about me, but it is a very hard thing to be so open to a bunch of strangers and I think that's obviously what was really upsetting and I guess kind of just saying it out loud to someone who's not just me would probably have kind of been quite upsetting for my mum. But she actually didn't cry that much, which is what's a little bit frustrating. Obviously it's TV and they can't show everything, but like if you've watched my YouTube channel, you know my mum is literally the funniest person ever 
ever. She's so funny. She's so light-hearted. She's so silly and daft. But they just didn't show a single clip of her being funny. Like, so it was really sad. But obviously, you got to think when someone's making a TV show that they've basically got to... There is different storylines. Obviously, it is real life. But they can edit it in a way so it's a bit more... Like, okay, Jamie's this character and Mum Sharon's this character and that kind of thing. So to go with, obviously, the journey my mum was going on, she was obviously trying to open up more. And that was definitely her journey in the house. Like, her real journey was her trying to open up. So then, therefore, they just didn't really put any of the funny stuff in because it just didn't really connect to the journey, which was the, the main, I guess, juicy bit of that journey but i just wish they had because she's so funny and i feel like no one got to see that side of her they were actually so lovely together a lot of the time but they just didn't put all of those moments in it's tv it is what it is i think she still came across great i'm still so so proud of her i think she did amazing and to be that open on tv and that open in front of a bunch of new people i think is so commendable and i think she's a very strong gorgeous little bean what's your opinion on martin <laughs> I think Martin's hilarious. I think he's so funny. Was he great in the house? No. He made some choices. However, you've also got to realise he did come in a lot later than everyone else. I think because he came in later and everyone else was already kind of set in their couples, it looked like he was being this super huge player, which he kind of was for a little moment. But I think if that had been at the start, it wouldn't have been as much of an issue because everyone was kind of in that field. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think he's really funny. I don't. May, I think he's a really nice guy. Maybe not good at relationshipy stuff. And I absolutely love Luke. Luke is the loveliest boy ever. So mature and such an angel. And yeah, I think I think yeah, you know, he brought great TV. Who did you want your mom to be with if not Elliot? So, oh my god, right, I actually felt so bad with, for this and I hope Natalie doesn't watch this because, I don't know, she probably won't, but obviously we were shown a lot of the clips from the retreat, but we weren't really shown many of the friendshipy connections. It was very much more, we were shown all the stuff about the relationships. Obviously they couldn't show us everything or we would be there 24 hours of a day. So it was more the relationship -y stuff. So I had absolutely no clue that my mum and Natalie were like, best friends my mum said that they got there literally within the first day and they just clicked and they were like known as being like the duo of the house they slept in the same room they were having sleepovers every night like they were super 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 close but i don't feel like i saw that at all and i know like you probably didn't see that either like i remember the first time i saw them it was at the self-reflection workshop and they were holding hands i said to khalil i was like oh my god my mum and your mum's holding hands and i was like oh god like bless natalie like she's probably just looking after my mom because she's upset like i i never thought that maybe they were like, good friends and i felt so bad that i thought that but i actually didn't really see it a lot see a lot of it but you should see them together like they are literally they just bounce on each other so much because i bloody didn't know they were friends when, i'm so glad they didn't put it in because obviously at the start of the show they were asking in the interview room it was like who would you, would you pick man with the whole time i said i was like probably elliot or paul so Paul's Maisie's dad and I was like, you know, I could probably see them together, like it seems quite fun, like hot, and like, I think they'd be a good match, blah blah blah. So I was like really pushing this. I was like, I would love to go on a date with Paul though as well, like just to kind of play the field a bit more. And then when I found out that my mum and Natalie were best friends, I felt like such a dick. So I was like, if they show me pushing Paul, but then also show clips of my mum and Natalie, everyone's gonna think that I'm being a snake pushing my mom on her bestie's man but i didn't know they were best friends but luckily they didn't show any of that so i was okay but i was like i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna have to text natalie and apologize because i felt really stressed about it i was like what we're gonna do was any of it scripted so it actually wasn't especially not the parents the parents was not scripted at all i think very natural it was just literally them living in the house it was all video it was quite like love island in the way that a lot of the cameras were just in the house they weren't cameramen the only time it was actual cameramen was when they went on like the individual dates and stuff but in the house it was all just cameras that were attached to different like corners of the room or like in the lights and stuff whereas with us we always had cameramen who are the best by the way i loved them all so much they were so lovely they kind of just like would just not say anything and just stand there and like 
being dressed in all black like so that we wouldn't really notice them being there but they were just so cute but after like the first two days you would just kind of forget they were there it was that like, was so crazy that you literally just would not even think about them being there. Ours wasn't scripted. We basically said whatever we wanted. However, there was times when maybe they would come in and be like, oh, T, will you ask Will how he's feeling? So then I would be like, oh, so Will, how are you feeling about that clip we just watched? But they actually didn't put any of that in. So there was a few times when they would like encourage us to ask each other questions just so that we had a bit more discussion on the sofa. But they actually never put any of that in. So everything you did see on TV was all us actually just, it was more of the stuff that we were just kind of throw like the one liners that we threw out there, which I was actually so happy about because I was stressed and thinking like, oh, would well, that look a bit crap if like, it's just me going like, so Zach, how would you feel about that? Like I thought I could look a bit weird. Okay, the questions that everyone literally all of these questions like 90 percent of it is did any of the kids get together <laughs> so this all started because Maisie I'm looking at you Maisie and Georgia went on this morning and basically I want to just I'm going to lay down what happened okay because I don't think anyone's really explained what actually happened basically before you go on a talk show they prep you with what kind of questions they're going to ask and then you tell them your answers roughly so that might happened with this morning and they were told basically all the questions they were going to get asked so like Maisie and Georgia had, had like time to think about what they were going to say and stuff and then Holly threw that question in and they hadn't been told it was going to be asked so when Maisie's like oh that was her not like oh like something has gone on it was her being like oh my god like this question we weren't prepped for this and then i think she thought georgia was going to answer so then she like paused waiting for georgia to say something but then i think georgia thought Maisie was going to say it was going to respond because basically they, i think they'd been prepped on who was going to speak at each time but obviously because this was just a random question that holly threw in they both didn't know who was going to speak but then holly jumped straight in there and was like oh my god like something's going on they're like no 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 like we just we just didn't have answered yet so it was this whole panic yeah so nothing happened with anyone which I, to be fair I, i'm not gonna lie i am quite surprised at. i think we were all just such 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 great friends that it would never enter our mind to kind of cross that line i've got is there a romance with you and khalil no i actually feel really sorry every time khalil gets this question khalil's literally got a beautiful gorgeous girlfriend at home he's also 20 okay he's a baby <laughs> Okay, I'm not that much of a cougar. Okay, guys. And I always have a lot of questions about Maisie as well, like Maisie and Khalil, and also me and Khalil. I think everyone just loves to set me and Maisie up with people. <laughs> but no, nothing nothing ever remotely happened with me and Khalil. Didn't even think about it ever. He's such a lovely person. He's my mum's best friend's son, so like he's he's a lovely boy. Um, but no, nothing happened. We're just really good friends. Do you and Zach fancy each other? Um, you and Zach, you and Zach, question mark, you and Zach. Um, everyone's so nosy. Um, so no, me and Zach aren't a thing. Obviously, Zach is absolutely gorgeous. Like, as you can, he's a beautiful boy, and we are so close. I probably speak to Zach every day. Not to get sloppy, but one of the best things I got out of the show was probably my friendship with Zach. I think he's amazing. He's a really lovely boy. But no, nothing went on. But yeah, I think even if my mum and Zach's dad broke up, I think me and Zach be friends hopefully forever the same with like Maisie and Khalil and Carly and Jess and Georgia and everyone like I just think we will all hopefully be friends for a super super long time I think we will I think the friendships that you make in there are just amazing but yeah Maisie and Zach didn't happen Maisie and Khalil didn't happen I think I joked a few times that me and Maisie got together just to kind of calm down the rumors but um that also didn't happen and yeah we also had one day off in the whole show which I forgot to mention we had one day off and we all like spent the full entire day together. We, we, we went and drank in the field. <laughs> Sorry, ITV, you shouldn't have said that. Okay, that's the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Q and A. Just want to thank everyone for their support. And yeah, if you do want to keep up to date with my mum's love life, her Instagram will be below. So will mine. My TikTok as well. I'm going to be vlogging a lot on there with like my mum and Elliot and stuff and all that cute gorgeous little love things and yeah so just want to say a huge thank you i'm so proud of my mom she is an incredible human love you all and have a nice time in life eat your vegetables um don't go to bed on empty stomach and what else can i say that's really inspirational um and breathe lots of air bye